All right, what's up, y'all? So today what I want to do is I want to talk to you all about the four things that you can spend, right? And so the four thing, obviously, the main thing that we usually think of when we think about spending is, oh, look at that. I was about to write the wrong word, money. All right, that looks a little sloppy, but you get the idea. The second thing that we usually like can spend or when we think about spending, in my opinion, is time. And all of these often are related. And then another thing that we spend is energy. And the last thing that we spend is, and there might be more, but these are just the four that I can think of. Actually, originally, when I start back in the day when I used to work at well, I'm not going to say where it was I used to work, but I was doing security and I used to just stand forever and my legs were hurting me and I was mad annoyed that I had this, I, I was grateful, but man, when you know that you have a job, but you, you're stuck in a job because you didn't do what you were supposed to do elsewhere in your life and so it leaves you like somewhere where you don't want to be, feet hurting and all that kind of stuff, right? But I'm getting off topic. I used to think it was only money, time, and energy, but I was listening to... Patrick Bet David, right? Look him up on YouTube, powerful man, um, six, very successful entrepreneur, and he makes a good point. So here we have money, here we have time, here we have energy, and here we have attention. And listen, it's important that you understand that no matter which one of these that we're talking about, well, when we talk about spending, all of these are limited resources as far as you as a human being, okay? Which means that if all you do is spend, 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 spend on just whatever, you're going to lose everything eventually. So because we're not God and because we're, we as human beings are limited, we need to be careful exactly how we're spending. So the first thing that we spend is money. We already know, even though most of us unfortunately don't do it, but we know that we should be careful in how we spend our money, right? But one of the things that people, it's really these three areas that people don't even give thought to when they think about how they're spending it, right? So a lot of people spend their time and they spend their time, energy, attention, money also, right? But we're just talking about these three because people just don't really think about these three. They spend all of these usually in areas that will not bring them back any value, right? When we talk about, when you're talking about an investor, the people who are rich, people who are doing big things financially, right? Um, and not only that, but people who are, tend to be successful in anything that they're doing, they're successful because they do, they're doing things that when they spend their money, their time, their energy, and their attention, Patrick Bet David said that attention is like the money of the brain. So your, you, your attention is actually limited. So what you focus it on right? It automatically means that there are other things that it can't be focused on. Anybody who's successful at anything has really figured out how to concentrate and la be laser focused in where they spend these things and not just, they don't just spend it anywhere. They spend it in ways that are, in ways and in places that is going to give them a return on their investment. And people who are rich, like I was saying before, spend their money in such a way that when they spend it, they're expecting to get more back from it, right? So you can spend money, you can spend time, you can spend energy, and you can spend your attention. So, so energy, we usually begin to feel it, right? When, we, when we're spending it um, or it's getting overspent. So eventually we'll say like, okay, boom, it's time to get that up, whatever. Time, you know, you can kind of see that um, you know, let's say the, the day is turning from uh, sunlight to sundown. It's like, oh man, I haven't gotten certain things done. I need to switch it up. You know, attention, however, really sums all of this up, I would say. So all of these kind of fall underneath attention because usually how we spend these three, usually how we spend money, time, and energy really tells us where our attention is. And wow, I like that. So it usually tells us where our attention is. And if your attention is not on something that's actually going to take you to the next level or help take somebody else to the next level, you might not be spending it wisely. 
the unfortunate thing about smartphones or what have you and social media, I love social media, right? But what I've begun to realize, and I literally, I'm sitting around people, my friends, and I remember this was me, um, and it's not anymore, not because I'm better than anybody, but I just kind of just got sick and tired of seeing that, you know, I was not, my attention had been spent for days and days on end on everything except for what I wanted to really accomplish in life, right? And so what I realized is that so many people's attention, you know, money, time, and energy is spent in front of their phone or on an iPad or something like that all day, right? And by the time they look up, you know, they're out maybe with their, 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 their phone is getting more attention than their boo. You should be booed up right now, right? You should be out on a date hanging out with shorty or with the young man that you're interested in or a husband, you should be out there hanging with your wife. Wife, you should be out there hanging with your husband. And instead of hanging with them, you hanging out on social media, right? And that's because social media is actually designed in a way to have your attention, right? And, 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 and advertisers understand this greatly. Why? We're so bombarded with advertisements all over the place from the internet and all that kind of stuff now. Why? Because they understand that if they continually grab your attention, you're going to make, oh man, thank you God for giving that to me. If we keep on bombarding you with all of this stuff, it's going to direct your attention to what we want to direct it to. And once we have your attention, we will eventually begin having your time and energy and eventually your money, right? And so if we can continually get your attention, eventually your money will be in our hands and we'll continue elevating while you keep on remaining at the same level, right? and your family and all the, your loved ones and the people that you have influence over remain at the same level because your, the, your attention is not on things that will actually help you to increase, right? And so I'm, what I'm wanting for you all, and I believe most of you all, are, if you're watching me, it's probably because you're looking to have your territory enlarged in some way, shape, or form, but the only way that that's going to happen is if you begin to focus your attention on the right things. Stop paying attention to everything else that doesn't matter. Stop going on social media so much unless you're using social media in such a way to increase your money. You're doing business through social media. You're making key connections, right? If you're just on social media getting a dope amount, of, a big amount of likes, but it's not propelling you anywhere, like just because you get a, like, a lot of likes does not mean that you're getting a return on your investment. It just means that a lot of people are liking it. Now, if you can figure out a way to turn all those likes into something that, you know, into some type of business or what have you, then good for you. But if you just on social media, just to like day in and day out, just to have fun, come on, you're not like all that God has designed you to accomplish. And that's how you're going to spend your time. And I'm not just talking about social media. It might be other things, right? So many people are caught up in the latest shows or what have you. And I'm not judging you by all means. If you're already doing what you're supposed to, cool, do what you're going to do. But come on, a whole lot of us, we are not where we want to be as yet. Not even close, right? We are not in a healthy place financially, we might not be in a healthy place emotionally or what have you. And so we need to make sure that our attention, our energy, our time and our money is being focused in the right place. Um, a man named Dr. Brantley, who was doing a strategic planning thing for uh, my church, uh, one of the things that he said this past weekend, as a matter of fact, was the difference between just any old kind of light and a laser is that a, any, when you look at a light bulb, you know, the light is bouncing around in a bunch of different directions, right? And so it illuminates right there. But what a laser is, uh, when you focus light and get all light moving in the same direction in unison, right? Right? Meaning that all of it is lined up in a particular place, then it becomes powerful enough to cut through steel and to cut through metal, right? And that's what you want. You want to be a laser. You don't want to be all over the place. But the only way that's going to happen is if, that, if, is if you make sure that not only are you, do you focus your money, your time, energy, which represents your attention, but you want to make sure that it's focused on the right thing so that you're cutting the right thing and getting that return on your investment. So I hope that this was helpful to you. I think that's long enough. Peace out, average is failure. You're going to keep on doing this. Peace.